In 1983, Bele became the first chess machine to achieve master level play with a USCF rating of 2250. Developed by Joe Condon and Ken Thompson at Bell Labs, it won the ACM North American Computer Chess Championship five times and the 1980 World Computer Chess Championship. The overall architecture of Bele was used for the initial designs of Chip Test, the progenitor of IBM Deep Blue. Hello chess lovers, Sonan here and in today's video I want to share with you one of the games played by Bele. Bele is playing with the black pieces and we will go through the game from Bele's perspective. Bele's opponent is Blitz 5. The game was played in 1978 in Washington. And yes, still 5 more years were needed for Bele to reach a master level. Without further ado now, let's get started with the game and see how strong were engines in those years. Blitz 5 opened up with e4, to which Bele answered with e5, knight f3, knight c6, knight c3, knight f6. Four knights game is on the board, bishop b5, white is choosing the Spanish variation. Knight d4, bishop c4, bishop c5, and knight takes e5. Bishop uh, c5 is actually a very provocative move, which leads to a sharp battle. Black is allowing white to win this pawn, and he's on f7. Queen e7. Now this is really interesting guys. Bela is playing a very sharp game and I really like this. The pawn on f7 is poisoned and usually white is not winning it but in the game we see bishop takes f7 check which allows black to gain advantage. Theory recommends knight d3. If uh, d5 then knight takes d5. Yeah, this is how the theoretical line goes, but in the game we see bishop takes f7 check. Uh, by the way, knight takes f7 is also not good, but compared with bishop takes f7, this is even better, you know. Uh, in this case, again, black is managing to prevail, and it looks like that the knight on h8 is also going to fall. Black will then castle queen side and can get a really very active peace play. In the game after queen e7 we see bishop takes f7 check and the problem with this move is that after king f8 white is finding himself in trouble. The knight on e5 which is protecting the bishop is now hanging and how are you going to neutralize black threats? If f4 then d6. In the game after king f8 we see a desperate knight g6 check which is even worse. H takes g6, bishop c4, knight takes e4. Yeah, black has a clear advantage and is winning. Plus, black also managed to open up this h file and now black will land a heavy punch. At this point, Bele came up with a really gorgeous move and played rook takes h4. How do you like this craziness, guys? Well, according to Stockfish, queen h4 or queen e5 are stronger and uh, rook takes h2 is actually engine's fourth choice but we see rook takes h2 in the game king takes h2 which leads to a forced mate in fourth there followed queen h4 check king g1 knight g3 this time bella is sacrificing the knight the knight sacrifice was not accepted because of knight f3 checkmate in here blitz 5 first made a desperate queen h5 check Oh, sorry, this is not check. Queen h5 in order to delay the mate and only then capture on g3. So, yeah, Bela is announcing a discover check and by covering the king and playing knight f3 check, double check, we see a checkmate. Check, checkmate. Similar checkmate we have already seen several times uh, in the games published on my channel and... I think that this is not something new to you. All in all, I'm really impressed the way Bella was playing in 1978. The opening choice was good, it was a sharp one, and yeah, all in all, Bella made an impression of a very aggressive player. In the end, a chess puzzle for you where the task is to win with the white pieces. As usual, we'll wait for your answer in the comment section. Thanks for watching, we'll see you in my next video.